This episode is brought to you by ThinkNear. Their location score platform delivers the most accurate location targeting available on mobile. Visit them at locationscore.com. This is the Mobile Commerce Minute with your hosts, Rob Woodbridge and Chuck Martin. This is the Mobile Commerce Minute. My name is Rob. And my name is Chuck. Chuck, how does the Internet of Things marry with mobile commerce? Uh, well, the Internet of Things as mobile commerce are both astronomically large and getting much, much larger. Uh, a new study came out from Cisco and DHL, and they cite five primary value drivers for IoT or Internet of Things. Uh, innovation and revenue, asset utilization, supply chain and logistics, employee productivity improvements, and enhanced customer experience. And that last one, enhanced customer experience, that's where mobile commerce plays in, in a really big way. Now, the 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 Internet of Things is really a subset of the Internet of Everything. I'm actually writing a book called The Internet of Everything, as, as you know. Um, and I'm re doing a lot of research on that right now. And, and it's really about leveraging things, basically links between people, technology, processes, and data to provide value to the to the person, to the consumer. That that's sort of the goal of, of IOE or Internet of Everything. And when you, when you look at the, the the acronyms in this, of course we have M to M, machine to machine, uh, M to P, machine to person, P to P, person to person. Just what we need is more acronyms. Uh, IOE, IoT, good grief. Um, anyway, it's, it's kind of acronym soup, uh, but that's kind of the world in which we live. Uh, but advertising is going to play a role in, in IoT as well. So uh, we're, we've got there's even an, an IoT advertising Internet Week conference that that we're running at Media Post uh, in May. So the, the point is that IoT stuff, uh, basically tying all these things together uh, in terms of physical objects is going to be very, very, really, really big. And what's really interesting is we're looking at what the, the study calls hyper-relevance. Uh, this is the the, uh, the Cisco DHL study. And, and they, they talk about basically allowing consumers to receive what they want, when they want, uh, how they want it, and it exactly, uh, basically very, very personalized information. So that that's kind of where we're going with IoT. You know, one of the acronyms that we don't talk about often around IoT, maybe it's too early, is ROI. Is there such a thing at this moment? Or are we still feeling our way? Uh, well, if you look at the value of the marketplace, uh, this study pegs it at, at eight trillion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, uh, that's sort of the, the the big 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 buried headline of the story here. Uh, an eight trillion dollar value uh, by in, in a few years from now. So uh, companies are spending literally billions. IBM just a few weeks ago announced that it was going to uh, invest three billion dollars in, in an IoT division, essentially to take data from the cloud and, and deal with it in real time. Because right now. We're getting these masses of data, which is nothing compared to what we're going to have. And what really has to happen is that gets needs to get converted real time into insight. Don't forget to come back for our next episode.